their third or fourth seed, uh, probably third seed because of uh, because of Bucket's win over Malk last week. So it should be good. If I were to guess the stage at this point, yep, tower. Uh, yeah, I would have said tower. Yeah. Crag gets the oh, top. We're going See, to eighth or high. See, Either that's high. my effort right there. I unlocked that y'all maple uh, maple <laughs> milestone right there. You're welcome. <laughs> thank, thank you, Nancy. Everyone, everyone uh, in chat, say thank you, Nancy. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all oh. gonna make my head grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy going off stage with those fairs, Ooh, but use that's the filler. It. That's it. And that's gonna be an early death. Bucket only at 20%. Definitely sitting really nice. Using that thunder line, that's one habit that Bucket has that he loves to do. He loves to um, up E1 off the stage and then thunder line uh, soon after you get back yeah. from, uh, from the halo. And it's one of the safest things you can do at the start. You either get 12% or you get parried and you just wall jump out of it. Yep. So we're, we're, we're going to have to hope that if uh, an enemy wants a chance at winning this Ooh. game, he's going to need to get some Ooh. momentum. Which, All right. Uh, it's kind of hard to do right now. I Never see, mind. I uh, see what Bucket <laughs> wanted right there. Gets a beautiful F strong. Um, but Bucket gets back on stage Man. and sadly catches the up tilt up air. A little bit of a taste of his own medicine there. Um, Ooh, hold up. There oh, we go. Of up tilt up air. Uh, Bucket said, I don't want my medicine <laughs> for you. <laughs> and uh, there it is. Off stage Thunderline. Here we go. Two stocks to one. Bucket still sitting really nicely. Uh, enemy is going to have to do twice as much, uh, do two stocks worth of work while Bucket still only has to do one. Gets a scary pair there. Hmm. All right. Man. Bucket demonstrating such a strong level of comfort with this matchup. Those games you played with Mouth last week and then Crimson and Wrath really showing just how much they understand how to play against Crag with Absa. Absolutely. Uh, Bucket is not letting himself get scared by any of the things that Crag wants you to get scared by. Uh, not being threatened by Ooh. holding rock or anything. Takes the upstrong there, but enemy still sitting at 96%. Not exactly very comfortable. Our Let's see is still very heavy. And Absa oh. is very not heavy. The Nair 2 hitbox just whiffing on the up, on the Absa. Parry on the rock, good. Okay. All right. Bucket dealing with rock is so beautifully. Ooh, missed I'll the sweet those. spot twice. So close. But that's still that's still percent in stage control, which is extremely important. Yep. Oh, I guess the parry. Parry on the kick. Bucket still not being The stopped. sweet spot back air, and that's gonna do it. Beautiful, wonderfully controlled from Bucket. Got that early lead, and uh, from there never dropped it. And that's exactly how, how you have to play those situations. Okay, two things real quick. One, because Absa is on screen, uh, Spidey reminding us that we need to say absolutely a lot. Oh, okay. And two. Uh, I feel like we owe Akashi a payment every time we see that Thunderline trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone say thank you, Akashi, and, <laughs> in, the, in, the in the chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so what are we going to see? Good, I'd say this right now, good bands by uh, Bucket. You definitely don't want to let Crag take uh, Air Armada. Air Armada. Yeah, absolutely not. Um. Ooh. That we're going to uh, Treetop Lodge, my character's home. Uh, good start with the uh, eight minutes uh, F-Tilt 2 by Bucket. <laughs> Gotta get any and all percent you can. But speaking of that, enemy is not taking... Oh, oh what? What that was an there? interesting um, SD I, right I, there. I, I, I don't know what... Was missed. Yeah. Um, either, either one he thought he had that he didn't or uh, just missed the button. Uh, really unfortunate. So we're seeing a bit of a mirror uh, from last game. Um, once again, enemy's key to victory is just going to be keeping up this lead. Doesn't have to go too fast with it. Um, enemy's still only at about 50. Bucket's really going to need to do something. Thank you for not running into that up strong. Yeah, that was a absolutely would have been terrible. Oh uh, no, we like characters. We can't afford those kinds of mistakes. Up tilt goes Ooh. to the upper and misses it. Yeah, just enough drift the eye out. The up tilt right there, it's a 50 50. If they drift out far enough, you want to go for the fair instead. Bucket really wanted one of those fairs to get hit. Oh, misses the up smash and almost dies for it, but beautiful the eye. Yeah. Holding the rock, gets hit by it, now it's off stage. The thunder. If those shards. Oh All right, still Lord. got the kill off the shards. That's going, We're counting that's going that. in the Adam MDBA. Uh, <laughs> Clip montage, beautiful yeah. from Bucket. Now, even stocks, if he can just live for a while, get some nice percent on enemy, he can absolutely bring this back. The enemy is not making it very easy. Playing neutral very well and also just very Ooh. aggressive once he gets some advantage. 
Good. Not let Bucket get away with uh, without some uh, some scrapes. Love the tech chase right there with the wave dash back F tilt. Absolutely. Oh, but to, bad DI mind, on the F tilt. To. <laughs> um, zero to forty. One stock to two. All right. Enemy oh, in a much better fair, position fair. than oh. in last game, but they're still off stage right now. Okay, and that's what I was talking about earlier. I uh, know Bucket, it. If Bucket can make something happen with this. Bucket's oh, trying to go for that. Gets back to stage, gets back, but it doesn't matter. Good way, good Bucket, weight on the roll so on the is, flat. This is this is exactly what Bucket needed. 43 to zero, not too far off. Absolutely a comeback that can be made. If you can even call it a comeback at this point, because now it almost seems even. Bucket off stage, definitely not very comfortable, especially being at 83. Ooh. Oh. Bucket just needs to get in. Oh. And he reaches him. Double jump up there. And he's catch one. that. All right, we are 1-1. One, one. We are now playing a best of three. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. No character switches. Uh, Bucket doesn't feel like the Molo is uh, <laughs> the answer in this situation. Yeah. And I don't think he'd want to go Orcane here either. Right. <laughs> hmm. Trying to note some things. I think Enemy made a good adaptation in game two there. You could result that to him remembering the matchup. You could result that to him having uh, a lot of experience as a competitor. But either way, the way they played in game one and two is just so much different. I guess it's mostly because I could actually attribute more of it to him getting the damage lead. Right. Because because of that, Bucket couldn't play back, which is what he was doing in the first game to such effectiveness. And a damage lead on Krag is so much more, like, means so much more than having a damage lead as Absa in this matchup. Because Krag, uh, percent is a lot more valuable on Absa than it is on Krag because Krag is so heavy. But the pick of Spear Tree here, um, oh, and uh, again. unfortunate fate. So, uh, Bucket can make something happen here. Same thing as game one. Um, but the pick of Spear Tree by, by Bucket is an interesting one because death off the top is something that can happen from, from either of these characters very, very frequently. Bucket is just putting more faith in his ability to get those uh, top last zone kills Ooh. than uh, enemy. I really like that placement of the rock. It forces Bucket to do such an awkward up B angle, making it a lot easier to catch them on the edge guard. Something that's just so valuable in matchups like this, especially where he close to skill. All oh, that hurts dying at around 80. Yeah. Krag actually has a very interesting edge guard on Absa, despite all the other problems in this matchup for him. Because Absa up B can't break rock or pillar, because it doesn't interact with walls that well, Krag can use that to either wall her off or effectively gimp her. Which we might need to see enemy go for more if they can get him off stage again, because they are down right now. Two stocks to one. Right. Ooh. Something that's really, really important to keep in mind, especially when you're playing someone close to skill level, is just uh, the value of uh, putting on pressure, which is something that can you do that, that you can do in really interesting ways with uh, Ravel's characters having things like rock two, and cloud. Two free up tilts work the damage on that pillar, on that uh, platform side special, and Bucket is sitting pretty right. Yeah, now. enemy greedily going off stage trying to get something while being on last stock a hundred or so. Um, which may not be the best move uh, risk-reward-wise, but hey, if it works, it works. Enemy definitely keeping up some nice pressure yep. in this bucket, getting that up smash. Last stop, uh, enemy definitely not uh, sitting pretty percentage-wise. Bucket just going for the F smash, racking up more percent. Uh, it doesn't go for an up, not goes for an up air enough. there. Not Catches fast the parry, But doesn't get hurt much more, only at 11% afterwards. Good Getting parry on the oh um, the instant the revenge parry oh and, the and it parried it again yeah keep him from the rock though Bucket is definitely getting a little bit antsy. We need to see him keep his composure, Ooh. or else enemy can go and steal some. And the oh. thunder! Oh my gosh! All right, now nah, we definitely owe Akashi something now. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> You're great at this. Good <laughs> shit, girl. Good <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's something you really got to look at because if you send Absa, uh, it's like, oh, she's all the way over there. She can't do anything. Exactly. And then she does, and then you lose the game for it. I'm telling you. So two to one, we're going to see what enemy is going to end up picking here after switching to Olympia. Um, oh, so yeah. once again, top blast zone being low is going to be a friend and, uh, and an enemy to both of these, both of these players. Yeah. Starting yeah. off with the crystal. Now, Ollie is Already a character. Getting, Ollie getting is a character happens. that enemy does play very seriously after she dropped into main cast. So you can't really say you're like forcing enemy off a secondary or anything like that. Still, it's noteworthy here for Bucket to be able to get enemy to change character at all. 
Absolutely, that means enemy was just not feeling comfortable with Frag. Who is the pretty much the lifeblood of enemy, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, but enemies has, uh, like I said earlier, just a really, really impressive advantage. I'd say that's one of the best things about his gameplay. Ooh. And it's definitely accentuated with a character like Olympia, who's uh, very explosive and can uh, sort of do with you what she wants after she's uh, got a hit in. Yeah. Taking you up and down with the up airs and down airs. And then, uh, not even from the first ball. So, we got enemy still on a oh, third he stock. Oh, he not missed a wall jump. Dri and tried, that to, tried to drift back, but messed up the order of things just so slightly. Really unfortunate. But now the game is about even. Enemy taking Bucket full of biscuits way up here, trying to get something there. But Bucket is back on stage. Ooh. Really. Good, good, uh, good, uh, counter cancel, yeah. Okay, so what we got going on here? All right, we got that. Edge guard can't. Ah, oh, should have popped the cloud right there, I think. And uh, up B, um, is that going to kill? Yes, it terrible is. Terrible place to find yourself in the top left corner of a jumping Olympia. Yeah. Um, so now we've got an we got a enemy. Second second stock still. Um, but if Bucket can't get some momentum here, it's going to be really, really tough to win the tides. Because they can't be exchanging blows. Oh. All right. Or a reversal real quick. And really good spot for Bucket. Good cloud to catch, but the... the enemy mixing up the timing so well to get back on stage. Yeah. It doesn't look like the end is near for the second stock of enemy. I love that Bucket is just throwing these clouds constantly in Ollie's face whenever she goes for the side special. Keeping up that pressure, that's so and important. And good she catch the with the air. air. After staring enemy into the sky. Both last stock goes for that. The, the, the Akashi, thank you, Akashi. Uh, <laughs> Enemy just continually Not jumping over the thunder line now. Not bothering with the parry at all. Because if you whiff it, it's like 12%, and even if you get it, you don't get anything off of it. Goes for the up after giving the side. Ouch. Up strong to catch the landing. We are going to another game five. What an what, what a impact for moves to get hit by. You, hit that, you get hit by that, you feel it in, in your body. Absolutely. Game five with uh, Bucket's stage pick. Yep. Be nice. Let's see if he goes for a low ceiling again, um, or if he decides that might not be best. I could see a pick like Blazing Hideout with really far side blast zones to sort of give him some leeway to DI there. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what ends up happening. So it's Bucket's stage Looks pick. Like for some combo. reason, I'm going to call, I'm just going to say it. I am want to see Endless Abyss. That would be that's 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 crazy. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit insane. Yeah. I was gonna say, do you think is Bucket a Tempest truther? It oh my so. gosh, he's a Tempest picker. I forgot. I was gonna I was gonna bring that up. Um, which is a very it, it, it's sort of like uh, left-handedness in Rivals. Uh, no no one no one likes Tempest except like nine percent of the players, and uh, it's like forcing your opponent to drive left-handed um, because. No one likes to be on Tempest, but if it's somewhere where you're comfortable, you can take anyone there and get automatically just a comfort bonus, which which really does matter. I'm telling you, yeah. The, and that's why the real tech is to continue say you hate Tempest, <laughs> but practice on the stage so that yeah. way you can catch all of these people that try to take you there. I actually had one day where I played for four hours straight only on Tempest to, uh, to get better at the stage. Oh my gosh, I should probably do that too. Yeah, I, I shouldn't be broadcasting my secrets. But anyway, <laughs> game five here is still very even. Um, both players oh at the, in the high double digits, pursing 100. Bucket crossing that line, uh, but still staying very comfortable. Not being thwarted very much by the crystals that uh, enemy is constantly throwing out. Just very calmly dealing with them, either staying out of their range or destroying them as they come out. Yeah. Neither of them getting anything crazy going. Bucket just weaving in and out of that, baiting uh, enemy into popping the crystal. Both players are so composed right now. This is a very interesting neutral. The two of them just dancing around each other. Oh, a bit of a flub in the movement right there. And that's got, oh, and they jump the Thunderline, and that's the stock. Yeah, it, 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 you got to keep in mind that uh, Olympia's in the crystal field. She can just bullet train over to you at any second with the uh, jump cancel side beam. Yeah. Oh, enemy almost getting something going. Maybe having led to an early stock, which is really scary. Something that he, I know he's done many times. But Bucket is just not letting enemy approach at all. Just, uh... Staying on the back foot, not um, 
not figuratively, but just keeping back so that enemy can't do anything with uh, the little range of Olympia has. Thunderlines again gets that percent. Focus attack from. through to Thunderline gets a good punish follow up. I mean, just taking advantage of how heavy Olympia is. Um, and that's why Bucket picked this stage because the last zone up there is just so big. He has a much better chance of surviving those high Ollie upbeats. You can tell how comfortable Bucket is in this matchup. Just using yeah. Cloud and everything. Even, oh. even while being down a stock, Bucket just taking it patiently and finds it right there. Oh, that could absolutely what he needs to do. Just keeping his head cool. Yeah, good uh, drift out. We'll be losing the most, definitely to his, uh, to his benefit. Uh, gets snatched up by that up special, though. And we wanting that up feed, but Bucket not feeding into it. Yep. Still just slowly chipping with Cloud. Good patient recovery right there. Misses the fair, gets them hit by the side special, and that's it. Ouch. Up strong. Oh, beautiful sequence by enemy. Definitely knows what he's doing with his character. There's a reason he switched to her. Mm. Okay, F tilt oh, out. Uh, scary fairs. Oh, is that an is okay? It's not an FD. Thank goodness, and that's not oh, gonna kill. Oh, last zone. The stage so pick working against Bucket this time. Another up tilt. Enemy weaving back. Good fair. Catching the fair for it with the cloud. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and there's that last stock transition to the stage. The orbs, orbs are active. Lord, yeah, lightning orbs now active, which uh, gives Absa 10% damage bonus. Oh my gosh. No, don't worry. Uh, oh, fair. Another fair. No Three way! sweet spot fairs, and Bucket will take oh it. Oh my goodness. That's what we were talking about. That's that's what Bucket's got that no one else has. Dark. That precision with Absa. Beautiful. Bucket oh, going crazy right now. That 60 was after the hit. How tragic. We live in an air society, y'all. The start of that combo, enemy was at 18%. And 18%. That led to death. That's so tragic. That was crazy.